Hey friends, it's me, John Christopher. I'm putting out another real estate video for anyone who's interested in watching my YouTube channel. Thank you so much. I'm going to be talking today about appraisals and how important it is to use a local lender and how that impacts your appraisal. So not a lot of accurate information out there. Sometimes what happens is as a buyer, you may be encouraged to use a local lender by a listing agent. And let's say you're in a competitive situation and you, you have a pre-approval from a Chase, for an example, or Wells Fargo, or even better, Rocket Mortgage. And you present that, your offer with that pre-approval from those larger banks. A listing agent that's representing the seller may come back to your buyer's agent or to you directly depending upon the situation and ask you for a pre-approval from a local lender. Why are they doing that? They are not steering you to somebody that is going to give them money, contrary to potential popular belief out there. Um, most real estate agents don't take anything from lenders. Number one, it would have to be disclosed. And number two, if it wasn't disclosed to be against the law and it's not worth losing your license over. But the reason that a listing agent wants to see you pre-approved with the local lender is because appraisals are ordered from a local source, right? So a larger lender, a national lender, is going to use an appraisal management company. Even many local lenders will use an appraisal management company. Now, some of the larger banks will use appraisal management companies, companies that cover large areas. And if they're covering a large area, there may be an appraiser assigned to do your appraisal from outside of your local area, which can be a problem because they don't know the market. They're not going to give you an accurate um, assessment of the market value, you know, which is what you need in order to make your transaction a success. So the best thing to do um, is typically to use a local lender, a reputable local lender, that has a local appraisal management company or a local group of appraisers. So the law says you can't just call up your buddy Joe and say, hey Joe, go over and appraise this property and make this deal work for me. That had happened before, before 2008, but the economy collapsed as a result. So there has to be separation between the appraiser and the lender and you. You can't really be calling anyone that you know, lender can't call somebody they know and kind of wink, wink, nod, nod, you know, make it work kind of thing um, because it gives an inaccurate assessment, a skewed assessment of the property's value. So if you use a local lender, they're going to use typically a local group of appraisers. Also, some larger banks versus local lenders, a larger bank, like a national lender, may pay the appraiser less money. If they pay the appraiser less money, they're going to get a cheaper job. That's, you know, and you don't want a cheap appraisal. That's not the goal. You want to make sure you're getting an accurate assessment of the current market value. That's important. If the appraisal comes in too low, your deal is going to fall apart. I'll do a whole video just on that. But you just need to understand that using a local lender, you're going to have that local touch. You're going to have someone that you can call directly and ask them when there's a problem and say, hey, what's going on here? You know, and hold them accountable. A, a larger lend, a lender, a national lender, you're going to call a department. Even if they give you somebody who is a, an individual contact for you, they may not, in fact, be available at 9, 10 o'clock at night when things go down and you really need to find out what's happening. So just like you use a local real estate broker, somebody that's going to be there for you whenever you need, like me, um, or you, you want to do the same thing with a mortgage lender. You want to have somebody accountable that you can call when things go wrong. And you want to get... Um, a, an appraisal through a local appraisal management company, a local group of appraisers. You want to make sure that that is part of your purchase transaction because otherwise you're not going to get someone educated on that local market. I'm in here uh, in the outside of the Philadelphia area. I work a lot in Philly, in the suburbs, and in, in the immediate counties around Philadelphia. Philadelphia is a city of neighborhoods. If you could go two blocks one way and it's you know, $100,000 difference in, in value. So if an appraiser from out of the area comes and doesn't know that, then you're really going to be in trouble. Your transaction is going to be in trouble. You're going to get a low appraisal. The seller may not reduce. 
and we'll talk about what happens when you get a low appraisal in a different video. And that's going to be detrimental to your transaction. You're, we're here as mortgage people and real estate brokers and agents and realtors. We're here to get you to the finish line. If we don't get you to the finish line and you don't purchase your home, we didn't do our job and you're not going to be happy. So when we advise you to use a local lender, when a listing agent representing a seller wants you to use a local lender, there's a reason for it. Nobody's trying to line their pockets. There's no big conspiracy. Um, it's just that we want to make sure the transaction is going to go through. So that's it for now. Um, if you have any questions, you can, you can contact me directly, likely through some sort of link here or make a comment, uh, a positive one. And that's it for now. At the end of each video, I'm going to give you a little bit of information about me so you know that what I'm telling you is legitimate. I'm a Pennsylvania real estate broker. I have been for the past 12 years. I've been a real estate agent and realtor for the past 15 years. Prior to that, I was a real estate investor and developer. Prior to that, I worked in property management and construction. Everything I've done in my 25 plus year career has been real estate related. I am a top producer in my region. In the past four years, I've sold over $100 million in real estate.